SpaceX copies. Dragon, you are go to open hatch. Go. Exciting. Copy that, SpaceX. Go to open the hatch. Mike, as you mentioned before, that continuous communication. Go hatch handle. As you can hear, we do have a crowd gathering outside of Mission Control uh, here in Hawthorne. In their excitement, somebody dropped a cup. <laughs> we can see our commander, Jared Isaacman, now turning the crank, which allows the uh, that top hatch to open. We'll see him give it uh, a, a pretty heavy... Uh, hatch is visually indicating open. Text copies, stand by. Should see him give that hatch a pretty strong jolt to release that stiction. Hatch is now unlatched. Mike talked about, he's, you see him getting his feet, getting his feet set. That's right. Dan, you'd ask if I'd gotten open the hatch, so when you go out as EV-1, just like Jared here as EV-1, that's that's typically the role for for you is to open that hatch. And you guys so have to draw straws, fight over who gets. <laughs> it's exciting. It is. It's very exciting, yeah. Now for those of you that have just recently joined, as you can see, we have successfully depressurized the Dragon capsule uh, down to zero PSIA. You see that in the bottom left hand side, bottom left corner of your screen. Um, our four Polariston crew members um, have uh, gone through the uh, O2 flow, and we see Commander Jared um, Isaacman now standing by uh, to open that top hatch. The nose cone is already open. It opened just shortly after uh, the crew got into orbit. Uh, so... Dragon SpaceX target pressure reached. Copy that SpaceX. I'm on the hatch now. Jared now opening Dragon Resilience. So we saw some motion on the hatch. Again, he's just giving it kind of that initial tug. And then Sarah gets to push the button to swing that hatch open. Much more movement there on the forward hatch. Must be pretty exciting for Jared because that center part of Dragon SpaceX. That's a good brace. We're gonna have you repeat the operation. Center of the hatch actually has a window. Copy. Let's give it another call. The hatch is several inches compared to the blue light. Copy. We we see it. Looking out that tiny window there in the forward hatch, knowing he is going to have a much bigger window in just minutes. Huh. Dragon SpaceX vent complete. EV-1 return to seat. And EV-1 copy, transitioning back under the display. So again, one of the reasons we had Jared do that was to... Dragon SpaceX, we're actually watching that hatch. We're going to have you repeat the last operation. 
Sounds like they're going to have them repeat them. One of the reasons we're doing that is just to kind of vent any of that residual atmosphere. And EV-1, you are go for manual hatch open. Sounds like we got our first audible of the day. As we said, that we can open the hatch. Open the hatch manually. We could open the hatch. Man, we could open the hatch automatically, or we can do it manually. And so they just gave Jared the go to open that hatch manually. So we we just went out of ground station reach. So we'll get the views back. Wow. We'll get the views back real shortly, uh, and then the the hatch will get we'll open. Hopefully, we see a hatch open. And hopefully, yeah. we see it. Yeah. Hopefully, we see a hatch open. Hatch is open. SpaceX copies. Hatch open. That is fantastic news uh, for those that. SpaceX EV1. I'm looking at the seals. Initial view looks pretty good. I don't see any vultures or indentations. Copy on hatch seal report. Yeah, that seal that you just heard him talking about, it's such a important part for the end of the EVA, right? So that when they close that hatch again, you get a good... Get a good seal. Can you command open forward hatch? There is our first view of the forward hatch, wide open to space. If you just jumped in, we are 38 minutes into today's spacewalk, and the hatch is open on Dragon. First view from a helmet cam, looking out. Dragon SpaceX, we see it stalled. EV-1 is go to continue. That structure you see there is... for egress. EV-1, I'm transitioning back from under the display. SpaceX copies, we're with you in your helmet cam. Once again, this helmet cam, what we, that structure we see is the, the spacewalker. This is Jared now egressing through the forward hatch of Dragon Resilience. These are the first views of the first ever commercial spacewalk. And at the bottom of the mobility is progressing. I have a feeling the crowd is about to go wild. Back at home, we all have a lot of work to do, but from here, work sure looks like a perfect world. No! Now, I think that one, I'm going to step into test matrix one. Single-handed mobility wow. demonstration. Commander Jared Isaacman now emerging from 